Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Feed the Batosai. Um, last episode we just started getting into beekeeping, and beekeeping is pretty ridiculous. Um, so to get seed oil, I know that's where I left off, because we need to make impregnated frames so that we can uh, put these guys into our apiaries and start producing honeycomb. So to make the impregnated frames, we need a squeezer. That squeezer, squeezer, we have to put seeds into. So tin, uh, sturdy casing, and two glass. Not too difficult to make. Uh, fair supply of tin. I don't have enough on me at the moment, so gotta go hit the the mines real quick and get that, and then I'll be back when we are ready to make it. Alright, so I got a little bit more stuff, nothing too special, but uh, I need to make, I think it's, yeah, I need to make bronze for the sturdy casing, and we're just going to do it the, the ingot way, or with the ingots rather. Um, so let's do that, I don't know if I have, if I made more glass or not, we got our sturdy casing, was tin tin and two glass. Let me see what our glass is looking like. Panes. And it doesn't look like we have any. I thought um I guess I'll go pop that in the macerator. Or the electric furnace rather. Um I know this is pretty ugly, I apologize for it. But uh I just I eh. I don't know. So, seed oil we should be able to put into a bucket. Seed oil. I don't have to put it in cans. What is what is a capsule? Refractory capsule. Refractory wax. Um, can. How do you make a can? Uh, it's not too bad. We could do. Uh, we can't do that. We need one more tin. Yeah, just man. One thing leads to another, which leads to another, which leads to another, which consequently leads to another. So yeah, um, get one more. I guess we'll we'll do that. Oh, sorry. Um, but yeah, let's make the squeezer first, just so I know what the the interface looks like, so we can determine what needs to be done. So there's our squeezer. Uh, very good. We'll put it next to this guy over here. And pop our engine right there. Turn it on. So it does need... Uh, I wonder if it... Well, I guess we don't need it on for right now. So what needed to go in here was seeds. Got the rest of our tin. Let's make... Uh, well, no, I'm going to wait to see if I can get, let's see if I can search buckets, if it's buckets of seed oil. Biomass, oil bucket, biofuel bucket. I'm going to wait on it to see if I can use a, if I can use the, the buckets to harvest it. So let's just grab some seeds. I probably could have just broke some grass to get some but I know this guy has a, a fair bit let's do that excuse me uh, let's get back to the house Oop, it's not right and then we'll see if we can figure that out oh, okay Please tell me you guys heard that. That was a creeper that just dropped and I don't know where he is. So, not going outside for a little while. But, uh, yeah. So, ah, uh, yep. Not paying attention talking to you guys. I grabbed saplings and not seeds. Oh, good. He was nowhere near us. Ah, uh, I'm just derping out. Sorry about that. Go. Pop these guys back in here. 
where they ought to be and do this the right way with seeds. Jesus. Uh, I'm not worried about uh, these actually. I was worried about those oak saplings, but I wasn't thinking about them that way. Uh, yeah, so is he still there? No, it looks like he's gone. He's probably in our house. No, he's not good. <clears throat> Alright. Now let's see if we can do this. Do I just put these in here? And then, oh, it looks like it has power. What is it making? Oh, looks like it doesn't have enough power. What is it, what is it doing? Oh, okay, so it's producing seed oil. Good. Let's grab our bucket. Our four buckets. And let's see if we can do... Can we put a bucket in? Probably not. Um, I'll leave one in there just for right now. But to get the impregnated sticks... Impregnated. We needed to put it into... The carpenter with two pieces of wood. And one of the seed oil cans. So it doesn't really matter. We have to make those. We have to make those cans to, to get the impregnated wood with the carpenter. So let's do that real quick. 12 cans, which isn't bad. That's a fair amount for 310. Uh, let's see, I don't think. Yeah, I didn't fill the bucket up if I put these guys in there. One. And we need, like, a lot of sticks, so I'm gonna just finish burning, uh, or putting these guys into the oil, collecting these cans, um, and then we'll make the frames. So, give me a minute. So this thing is actually pretty slow, and it takes a lot of seeds to make it, so I don't know how many we had originally, I didn't look at the footage, but we are gonna need all 12 cans to make enough impregnated sticks to make enough impregnated frames. And I'm hoping that that is how we go about getting honeycomb, because this is a long, long thing away from what I really wanted to do, which was make a diamond factory, which isn't going to happen for the time right now, and it probably won't happen for a good while, so um, just going to be working on this. So give me a few minutes, and I'll get back to you guys. So it's taken me... A long time to figure out why I am an idiot and because I record these episodes in advance I never get to have you guys comb or uh, feedback but uh, yeah so that right there is the output face on the the MFE so this this crap right here it's not doing anything um, I'm gonna hope that this uh, I don't know if it's gonna it shouldn't blow up I have the low voltage the low voltage should be all right let's, let's try it like that okay and now this should be oh holy much better I am such a derp sometimes uh, no we need the other guy um, other guy there we go so one more high voltage cable which is uh, I wanted to say it was refined iron, which I don't have on me at the moment. Iron. Let's just do th three of what we need, I believe. But yeah, I was just man wondering why my power spikes were just so bad, and it's it's because I'm an idiot. And everyone who was yelling at me like two episodes ago, I'm sorry. It's all fixed now. Everything should be a lot better and a little bit more efficient. So. Just a little update. And I don't know if you can tell, but uh, I have the squeezer just directly hooked up from the low voltage transformer. And uh, it's pumping a little bit faster now. But uh, yeah, instead of relying on that bat box power. Oh, I did close it off. That's weird. Um, I think it's this one. Yeah, instead of relying on that bat box power, we can still reach it from here. 
Uh, we're now sucking power from this MFE because once it hit 600,000, it wasn't doing anything. So, uh, much better source of power. I'm very happy. Um, just put this in the carpenter. It says I'm missing resources. I don't know what I did wrong. Oh, maybe I was just missing it from... Let me go grab some more wood real quick. Should be plenty. I still have all my other ones going, by the way. Let's put those in here. So they go in the this area, and it consumes the can, which is pretty weak. But, uh, oh, yeah, there we go. So I was just missing these, but, uh... Right click, how do I, how do I get this? Do I still need to give it, no, oh, it should be water. What are you doing? How do I do this? Oh, that's not it. Oh, and it's not powered, of course. There we go. Um, yeah, so I'll just make whatever, however many of these there are right now using all of this uh, seed oil and there we go impregnated sticks so I'll let that run um, now that we have a decent supply of power and I need a lot more seeds so it will be a while Let's see how much that drained our MFE oh not, a, not bad at all so it's keeping up that 9 EU per tick is keeping up pretty well um, I wonder if it didn't need all this seed oil. I wonder how many it'll make. If it only needed one seed oil to make this as the recipe. Grab our cans back. Let's just see how many it'll make. Because I need, uh... What do I need? I need 8, 16... I need 24 for the frames. And it looks like it's just going fine so I I wasted all those seeds and all those cans but I guess we're learning so I'm learning at least so uh, grab the two more wow that's awesome um, let's unpower it because I have a tendency to not do that this guy is unpowered and uh, now we can make our impregnated frames Let's do that real quick. Get rid of all these. Uh, appetite, copper, tin, redstone, cans, uh, resources. There we go. Alright. And we need more string. I don't think you can decompose wool into string. That would be really cool, but I... Yeah, you can't, so... Got our string. Three. Three. We have our three frames. So, very good. Let's go grab our bees. Let's grab the... I don't see, I don't know. Let's do marshy princess and a marshy drone. And see from there. Go put our frames in. So they, yeah, this is like a super learning experience for me. But uh, you can't fly forward while you're eating. So I'm sorry if it's <sighs> jetpacks out of juice. No good. But yeah, let's see what this will do. Hopefully, this is a good environment so if I just put a princess in no drone make your bee happy if I put the drone in it's gonna do the mating but then what does it also produce this while it mates hmm 
I guess it's back to the wikis. I uh, will be. I will. Yeah, I'll be back real quick. So I stayed a while longer just to to watch it do its thing to see if it did anything, and I got a message that said no flowers. So the marshy princess, or marshy queen, I guess it is now, must need different flowers. So I'm gonna try growing them. I'm not really having any luck. Here we go, red flower. No flowers. What does it say? The right flowers. Um, let's see if it's one of these guys over here. Because we got just about every flower there. No flowers. Um, Alright, let's take this, this marshy queen back. And let's put in the the mar the meadows princess the meadows queen because I think this is a a meadows biome area that it would like better than this person this this bee oh beekeeping is so fun and interesting uh, let's grab you I really need to organize these chests too when I get back take a good minute to do that. Alright. Jetpack still isn't charged. It's alright. A little upset about that seed oil that you only needed one, but now I know. I guess I could have remembered that from the when I had uh, just the water in it, but let's see what this does. Alright. It was doing its little pollination. Meadows Queen, normal, normal, access control. Machine owner can set it to three different types. Okay, that's fine. Um, so it's using these frames, so let's see if it does anything. Oh, I wonder it uses the B up. Does it like kill the bee? Does it kill the queen? This is interesting. I'm not really sure what this is. Uh, let it go. I don't have my scoop. Let's go grab the scoop. I hope that doesn't kill it because I don't have enough bees to start doing this. I really need a little help in a crash course on bees, but. Let's grab our scoop. Let's go over to the jungle one. Actually, let's go run around these parts to see if we can find a beehive. Scoop, where you at? You are in here. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Uh, we can try. Let's try breeding it with a, a marshy princess. A marshy drone egg. Uh, let's take both and see. I have no idea, so get over there and I've just been doing this guy uh, by hand if any of you were wondering why it's unplanted I went to get the seeds for the the squeezer oh cool made some honeycomb alright so I guess this is its life so let's see what it does if it breeds with a drone can it do this no it doesn't look like it Alright, so what about with a princess? I can't put the princess there. Okay, so if we take this person out and put them back in, yeah, they only have a certain amount of life, so do this. So if we get any drones from this. Marshy Queen. Yeah, so. Alright, well, can I put queens in there? No. Alright, I'm gonna let this, this guy die out, I guess. Um. And just hope for the best with these honeycombs. But, uh, yeah. And the honeycomb, to reiterate, needs to be put in the... Now that I've forgotten, we'll show you in a moment. And then I'll go out on a bee, bee expedition. I was trying to think of a, a clever way to say that, but there really isn't. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, no. Into the, the centrifuge. Pop that guy in there. And take our engine back. And take our squeezer back. Turn it on. Centrifuge the honeycomb. And we get wax and honey drops, as you will see. Alright, I think the honey drops is a 10% chance, but beeswax and honey drop. So, cool. Um, only a few more, I think. So, we probably have... Actually, no. For the lava, I've got a lot. So, probably at least five more honeycomb, I think, would probably do it. Let's make some cobblestone proof pipe waterproof pipe while we're here, which uh, should be perfectly fine to use with the lava. So that is the pipe. And that with this... Oh, it only produces one. So no, we are gonna... We're gonna have to be here. We're gonna be here a while. I don't think you can put lava through just regular transport pipe. But, uh, yeah. I'll check on that. And then I'll see you guys in a bit. I just did a check on the pipe, and it does have to be waterproof because uh, um, from the, the tanks you can't pull out the liquid without a waterproof wooden pipe and without the waterproof wooden pipe you can't connect it to just regular cobblestone pipe so it's gonna be it's it's gonna be a while there's gonna there's gonna be a lot of pipe um, just over here produced one more honeycomb I'm just trying to see what happens um, when they die, I guess. Um, so just waiting for this. Hmm. Meadows drones, Meadows princess. Okay, so if we put that back in there and put that back in there, it'll make another one. And... And then this one will produce honeycomb again. Okay, so it's not too bad. I was expecting it just to die completely, but that's nice that we get more bees back so I have a, a long road ahead of me and um, uh, that's what I'm gonna be doing for a while so uh, when I make some headway I'll be back I just did some quick calculations and I need to go about 60 blocks I don't have the the resources for that so what I think I'm gonna do is just do the the water system and uh, get that up and functional. I haven't decided where I actually want to build the house or the, the factory. So I think I'm just gonna put it right on this little island for right now. But uh, yeah, let's see how that'll work. And then I gotta check time because I don't know how long it's been. I've been messing around for a little bit. Uh, put that through there. We get our igneous extruder, one of our pumps. One of our wooden transport pipes. Oh no, I'm sorry. One of our waterproof wooden transport pipes. Our igneous extruder. And we need some tanks. So, now that the power is all figured out, we can actually smelt some sand, which would be nice for once. Um, and I left this guy on again. I, man. It's a problem. It, it, it is a problem. Get that going. Um, put these, que these bees away. I don't know what else I can get. Well, let's get rid of the cobble that's in our inventory and the dirt and the gravel. Dirt and cobble. It's got too much junk. Too much junk everywhere. Um, centrifuge is almost... I'm gonna turn it back on. There we go. Beeswax and honey drops. Glass. We're gonna need at least... Alright, I'll just wait. So the nice thing about the extruder is I'm pretty sure it doesn't need to be powered. Um... I did forget a engine for... Oh, 
I need to get an engine for the pump and for the wooden pipe. So let's grab these two Sterling engines. Always something, man. Always something. Um, we don't have any coal on us. Let's go to the ravine real quick. And get the coal that there's a bunch of somewhere. Here we go. So let's just do two. Well, I was going to do two apiece, but I might as well just mine the rest of this coal vein. Uh, and frankly, I shouldn't be doing it with coal because we're trying to do it. We're trying to do the, uh, the diamond and that's the major source of it. But this is for demonstration purposes. So I can show you guys that it works and then I will work on the setup at a later time. No building blocks. I got this crap. So let's say we put the pump, the water, the water pump right here. We have to power it now, so we need to put a guy. I'm gonna put our engine right here, like so. I think this is two away, right? Yeah, good. Oh no, it's three. Uh, all right. Um, let's put our oop jetpack going a little crazy. Lever on here, which will turn that guy on, which will start the pump. As you can see, it is. Dang it. Um. Already pumping, or it created this little, this little guy, which is what pumps everything out. I don't know if we can just put the tank next to it. I know it looks kind of hokey, but uh, let's give this some power. And it should just pump the water into this guy. And from here, good, I did do this the right way. The igneous extruder, we'll put it right here. Um, this is water, this is lava. And we're going to have to make another, like here, this engine right here. Going to need that wooden waterproof pipe. See if I can fix this or not, if I need to change it. Okay, good. Uh, put that there, and then put one here, and bring our waterproof pipe into right here. Turn that guy on and it will start pumping this water into this slot right here. And if I go down and grab some lava from our lava pool, let's go right here, two, three, four, And if I don't get too bad a lag, here we go. We'll put our lava buckets in on the other side, like so. So, from what I understand, it, it'll just continuously make cobble. And it's not using up any of our, uh, it's not using up any of our water or anything, because it's on cobble. So I don't know if there's a way to turn it off. But uh, yeah, it's just going to make cobble, and then uh, turn this guy off, and turn this guy off for right now. Actually, they only had one coal in them, right? So, oh jeez, let's run what's left of it. Like that, there we go. I guess I could, yeah, I could do that to stop it. Alright, well... So that's that, but um, then we, if we click it to obsidian, what it's going to do is it's going to take each one, so this will produce X, I guess, what is it going to be, four, four obsidians. And then we're going to have to pipe it from the extruder, probably through the bottom, we're going to pipe this obsidian into that whole macerator, compressor, assembly table system. But yeah, that's the igneous extruder. And we got five, five obsidian from 
So I guess it's a bucket of lava and a bucket of water. So, yep. That is it. And then we're going to do the... I guess I made this wrong because the lava was going to be right there. But for now, I'm just going to do it this way. Uh, yeah, let me see how much time we have. Uh, and then I'll get... I'm surprised that these guys are still going. And then we'll get... Uh, either some more of this stuff set up. Or I'll talk to you guys about the Macerator and all that kind of stuff. So, be right back. So, I think I found a good alternative to um, pumping lava. And that's going to be using a magma crucible, but uh, we are out of time for this episode, so we will work on that um, first thing next episode. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys next time, have a good one.